Hey, Chef Hyken here, and I'm with my buddy Mitch Joel. We are at the NAM show. NAM is the National Association, Association of, music of Music Merchandisers, or merchants, and that means all the people that sell music are coming to uh, the Los Angeles Anaheim area. We're at the Anaheim Convention Center, and you can see trade show check it out it's insane. check it out it's insane there's live performances we're all we're in the middle of it all yeah, we've got uh, let's check we got Marshall behind us anyway it goes Mitch, on for days here you are a keynote speaker tomorrow I spoke yesterday and you just interviewed Norm Harris from Norm's vintage guitars cool stuff um, tell us what you're doing tomorrow digital disruption in yeah. business uh, well you know one thing is I've, I've been a big music industry guy for a long time people sort of know me for my digital stuff but I've actually been it was in the music industry long before it was digital and to this day I actually started a podcast where I interview uh, bass players of all things at notreble.com so check that out um, notreble.com yeah it's called yeah, like, no as in bass com. it's all based on nothing, nothing but the bass nothing but the bass who sings that song uh, I don't know uh, I'll think what her name is it doesn't song. matter yes and um so tomorrow is really the core content that I do. And it's just so applicable to this industry is going through complete disruption. And the stuff I talk about really is about that intersection of how are consumers now connecting to businesses because of technology. So social is an aspect of it, but it's greater than that. It's the fact that they can create digital products and services. It's the fact that they can understand that customer journey, the customer experience, and do so well um, in a different way. And, you know, this is a challenging time for, for this industry. People think, oh yeah, everybody wants to be a guitar god, but they don't anymore. The challenge that a lot of these people have is when young people want to get into music right now, they're doing it on the computer. They're downloading software. The right, I mean, that's what I do. I mean, I learn how to play yeah. guitar and play with, you know what, I play with Carlos Santana. On YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube. But again, most people are moving away just from just physical instruments to learning on computers. Right. And so all of these businesses here are trying to figure out how to re-engage people with the instrument. And that's the crux of what I'm going to talk about is how do you rethink disruption? How is disruption a positive person? And this is what you do. All right, so Mitch, this doesn't apply just to the music industry. This no. is about every industry. Yeah. Think about what Uber did to the taxi cab industry. By the way, we've got some great people. We've got Samuel Sandler, my buddy Robert Bradford is watching. Robert. Robert, I don't know where you are, but you're a beautiful man. I'll hopefully see you in Baltimore at NSA for at least July this summer. Anyway, uh, the disruption is happening everywhere in the world. Uh, what Uber did to the taxi cab industry, and, and just uh, just this morning, I read an article that Starbucks is following very closely on the heels of Amazon, Amazon who just opened a store in uh, Seattle where you can walk in, pick up anything you want, put it in your pocket. You don't need a cashier. You just walk out with it and, it, and it hits your credit card because you've signed up for the system. Starbucks just decided to go cashless in some of their stores. Now, 25 years ago, I was in Washington, D.C., and I went to the FedEx store, and they said, we don't take cash. But that was for a different reason. That's because they didn't want to have all this cash and as they walked out of the store, get robbed in the middle of downtown Washington, D.C. But now it's because of technology. And you and I talked about this this morning. There are people that have predicted this. Bill Gates in his book, uh, uh, The Road Ahead. Which is 20 years ago. Yeah, 21 years ago in the 1990s wrote that we will be exchanging money using our mobile device. And I'm thinking, how does that work? And now that's exactly what's happening. And you know what? It's going to disrupt banks. Uh, it's going to disrupt credit card companies. It's going to disrupt all kinds of different businesses. And if you're not willing to take a cashless transaction, it may disrupt you. Yeah, and it, look, and it, that's the challenge for many businesses. I thought Norm was such a salient speaker today because he is from an older generation. He has kids that are like my age. Right. Um, and for Norm him, from Norm's Vintage Guitars. Yeah, Norman's Rare Guitars. Norman's check Rare out, Guitars. Check out this YouTube channel. 200,000 subscribers, uh, 65 plus gajillion views. It's insane what's going on there. And one of the things he said, you brought it out of him. You did a great interview, by the way. It was awesome. I mean, I'm a fan of it. So uh, but one of the things that he said is to, uh, if you're going to compete against the big box stores, that's what happens I'm when I look technical. away. No, yeah, yeah, let's let's, let's go way up here. Let me hold no, 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 we're no, 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 that's not this good. is great. Let me go this way. We'll go like this. Here we go. Oh, great. There we we go. now have a new director. Exactly. So, there we but go. here's the thing. If you want to go um, um, and, and compete against a big box store, compete against Amazon, right. what was it was real simple. Just 
Yeah, he was saying, well, which is something I believe, is you got, actually don't. You go niche. You really figure out uh, what is that one or two things you do well. And then, you know, he was talking a ton about creating content that speaks to that audience. It was amazing. This guy's got one store in Tarzana. One store in Tarzana, which, by the way, is not in downtown Los Angeles. To get there, you've got to go like an, an hour, hour, hour and a half. Yeah, in bad traffic, it's two hours. <laughs> And, and he gets people to come, and they buy from all over the world. And how does he compete against big box stores, uh, guitar centers, uh, other, even the Amazons of the world? What he does is he says, I just find something that they're not selling. I do something a little different than they do. And the other thing is, like again, he, he talked about launching this guitar network that he's doing now, which is basically, you know, it's like the Netflix, if you will, of guitars. And he's got some great celebrity friends, Richie Sambor is in it, uh, Joe Bonamassa, and uh, so longtime customers, longtime friends. And he's he, again, he's extending this. He's not necessarily saying I got to sell this 1976 Fender Jazz Bass. He's saying I could sell people tons of things that they're interested. And the other thing that I really liked is he was talking about how big his YouTube feed is and how it's generating income on the ads. I think a lot uh, of people yeah. forget that they think I'm just going to create content. And that's the ad. And he was like. You know, it's not really the thing, but now, in a world where he used to spend so much money on print ads to get the word out there, that he is generating income on his marketing. I mean, it, it, and again, we're not talking about a young 25-year-old YouTuber. This guy is, you know, he's 69 years old today. He's 69th birthday. Today is his birthday. Today Happy or, birthday, Norman. Yeah, and, and good on him for, for being like, this is the way we're going to embrace it. And, you know, again, I know you talk a lot about customer experience, and we often forget that the content that we create is often that con that, that experience we have when we're not in the brand. Right, and that's what separates you from your competition. All right, this place is going to close down in just a minute. We and what it does, stuff. And thousands and thousands too. of people are, yeah, and there are some rock stars. Who did you get a picture of with? Oh, we had Paul, Paul Stanley from Kiss. from Kiss. We had Tony Levin, bass player for Peter Gabriel. And, and so many famous people here. I told, I told Shep. Thousands and thousands of guitars. Who them, buys all these guitars? Tell them the story I told you at breakfast. I said, Nam, if you're a music guy, is bizarre world. So in the real world, there's a ratio of human to rock star. And then now it inverts. Right. So you're just a we're regular schleps here. And, and we're special because yeah, we're not a rock yeah, star. It's amazing. <laughs> Actually, you are a rock star. No, no, you're a rock star. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thanks for watching our Facebook presentation today. I'm with my buddy, Mitch Joel, hey my brother from another mother. One more person can be like a Jew man group or something. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, remember this. I want you to always be amazing. All right. Take care. Thanks. Brian. Bye, Brian.